My husband is an Army veteran. He spent 23 years in the Army, and he completed seven tours to Afghanistan. I can remember our first date when he said, I have PTSD, I'm a recovering alcoholic, and I live with my parents, and I said, sign so, me yeah. up. I started thinking about in my hometown, we were not seen. I thought, well, if I am needing help, there's got to be others. Yes, yes. So um, heard this little voice saying, you should start a nonprofit. Only later did I come out to DC and was around so many other caregivers who got me. There were no questions, no judgment. I felt seen and heard Careful. as well as empowered. Yes. I can be the voice for others who may not have found it yet. Yes. So that's right out of the entrepreneur's playbook. Pretty much. You know, the foundation started with a mission uh, inspired by a very personal, profound experience by Elizabeth Dole, a 45 plus year public servant, secretary, senator, CEO of the American Red Cross, caring for her veteran hero husband, Senator Bob Dole. Mm -hmm. She yes. saw a real big systemic gap in the way that we were supporting veterans and their families. There's that famous quote from President Lincoln that says, we commit to supporting those who have borne the battle. Mm -hmm. But Lincoln didn't also talk about their spouse and their caregiver and their children. And the growth of this caregiver movement from the quiet hallways of Walter Reed to this grand hall tonight is what gives me hope that our country will one day provide every hidden hero the support they need.